Oh, hello. I'm Gentleman Norman. Good day. Let's iron a shirt. They say gentlemen prefer blondes. Well, I prefer crisply iron shirts. You're going to need an iron, demineralized or distilled water, starch, and a dress shirt. Smells like pure class. Before we begin, set your iron to cotton and give us a little spritz. Note that it is best to iron your shirt inside out and then again on the outside. But for our demonstration purposes, we'll be doing the outside. Let's begin with the collar, shall we? Make your shirt at home on the ironing board and pinch, just like your auntie grabs your chubby cheeks. Place the collar down and give it a little massage. Always have your spray bottle handy because it's more reliable than your built-in steam setting. Apply a little starch and really get your iron in there like you're the best of buddies. You know your iron is working when there's little puffs of steam. Let's see that collar. Delightful! Now let's move on to the cuffs. Spritz and iron. You'll notice that we're moving from the outside of the shirt inward. That's how the gentlemen do it. Now let's really bring manners back by ironing the back of the shirt. Yes, like that. Smooth, decisive movements are the true secret to ironing. It's also Dale Carnegie's secret to being great. You're going to double iron the back, so give it another go. You've done this before, no? Now let's iron the front of the shirt, so lay it out just so. Let the water kiss the fabric and make sure not to iron over the buttons. They could melt, and that would be disastrous. I don't even want to think about that horror story. Just keep ironing, yes, yes. Did I sleeve something out? The sleeves! Lay the sleeves down and use the seams as a guide to avoid unsightly creases. Nobody wants to be unsightly. Be gentle yet assertive, like a true gentleman. Make sure everything is straight. And just like before, do not iron over the buttons. Would you look at that? Fantastic! I'm Gentleman Norman, and it's been my pleasure.